this hour. Word of God this hour. Why do I need a certificate to do anything? Bring, show me Peter's certificate or James and Johnson. All over. You're listening to all these white people. Oh, oh, oh. He, he, his qualifications, even charismatics, Pentecostals, they talk like that. They looked, at, they looked at Jesus and said, This man has not learned letters. Where did he get this kind of authority? Jesus. Jesus did not attend their theological schools. Jesus Christ. It was so clear that he did not attend it, that they said it. John 7, 15, everyone, the Jews were amazed and asked, how did this man attain such learning without having studied the maker of heaven and earth, our Lord and Savior, through whom we all pass, refused to attend the recognized theological training schools. Then you people, you sat there and say, well, it's okay, you know, this is 2020 something. Jesus you know, there has to be advances. You didn't learn anything because Jesus is not the one you imitate. You imitate, you know who you imitate. Me, I imitate Jesus. He saw Peter, he saw James, he saw John. After he rose from the dead and left, they looked at his disciples and all agreed that they did not go to school. Who has read it? In the Acts of the Apostles. So like, the servant is not greater than his, the disciple is not greater than his master. The disciple is not greater than his master, the servant than his Lord. So Jesus no go to school. The apostles no go school. The only one that went to school was Paul. How did that go? Acts 4 13. When they saw the boldness of Peter and John, read, and realized that they were unschooled, ordinary men, they marveled and took note that these men had been with Jesus. What's the principle and the qualification for ministry? Being with Jesus, if you like, waste your life. Now, you might say, hey, what's he saying? I thought they have a school of ministry. Yes, we do. What do we do there? You should check it out. What do we do in us? Go online. Now, some of the content there is futuristic. What is the content? Go on our, our YouTube. There's a portal we've created for free access. If you go to God's Army Mobilizing, that website has not been launched, but it has more content than you can believe. It, and you're free to go to it. The more truth you have, the more authority you have. Not just to be free, but to free others. So why do we train people? Not just so they can use it to free their own land, their own life, but to free others so you can fight battles and free others too. And with time, we can free the church, then free the world. It's what Jesus came for. It's what we are meant to do. Jesus said, go out into all the world and preach the good news to every creature. So we should be able to bring good news. Good news is words, peace to our hearts. But you can also bring peace to someone's belly that has ulcers. And that horrible pain that they've suffered for five years, for six years, stops. And it's no more. How is that not good news? Why would I have the ability to do that and not do it? So I might as well learn how to do it. Go and bring me Paul's certificate. Oh, oh, he said he counted everything down. He must have burned it. But Peter never had, I can assure you, James and John. Why? So I told, you know, the brother that said it, who was just saying that that's their challenge i said i don't want to train any such person i don't want to train pharisees i don't want to train any such person may they not come in jesus name may god find the lowly and be them who don't care about appearances you want a certificate to prove we trained you in prophetic gifting i don't have any certificate so why should i give you any i don't want to be connected to that which is ridiculous jesus is our teacher when we come to teach, when we come to preach, all the things God has taught me, some of them I have books. God has not allowed me to read one page, but I still hope to read them. I haven't opened it. My primary school has always been the Bible. I go in there. It's from there I dig it out. The Holy Spirit inspires it. Many times as I'm preaching, He's teaching me, He's telling me things. I finished preaching 70% of what I said I knew. 30% I've never known it. I heard it when you heard it. The Holy Spirit breathes on it right there illuminates it and gives light that's what we put together and teach even when i'm teaching still he's bringing new things i know you won't know while i'm teaching it because it sounds so orderly so organized like you must have had it no you cannot have had it check my notes it doesn't exist anymore so the holy spirit is the teacher god told us he said when i go i'm sending you the holy spirit he will teach you all things so we teach you to be led by the spirit to be instructed by the Spirit. How many of you went out to evangelize? You didn't know what you say, but you kept finding things to say. You couldn't know how you could know those things. And you just kept saying, and it just kept being supplied. 
that thing you experience every time you step out on behalf of God is the same thing we were to operate in. Just add boldness to it and you take the world for Jesus. Are you understanding? Not add certificates to it. Have you heard me? That just makes you stupid. How many of you saw one video of one man that said he went to a, a church's Bible school. He has a certificate, but he doesn't want to follow God anymore. That is to send him by his money. Who saw it? Who saw that video? He online, he was bringing out a certificate. You see, he doesn't want to, that he wants to believe in Satan. Is, didn't he say that? That he doesn't want to go to heaven again. That he knows uh, if he's hell, let him go. Uh, but that, please, can they return all his tithes and his offerings? Please, that he doesn't want to do it. No, they can keep the offerings, but that he wants his tithe. That here is the booklet of all the records that you should give him back. Some weeks, a month ago, it's on YouTube. Is it okay? He said, please, that things are very high. He knelt down on the camera. He wasn't joking. He said, please, I'm not joking. That things are really high. That he has sat down and calculated the money so much that that because of what they told him, that they should give him back. He wasn't playing. See, I, I, I didn't believe it again. See, he said, see, I went through all the screens. See, I bring out the certificate. See, I had that. What, what, what does that mean? Now, I'm not saying anything new. I've been saying this for years. We don't do certificates. And by the grace of God, we will never do. Maybe there's a level of ministry, but I doubt it. I really doubt it. Like, what will make me give you a certificate? That to do what? When the devil comes to attack someone, you bring it out. Leave. This seventh day of February, 2005, I got authority. Leave. No, bro, sister. Mm -mm. So I am anti-certificate acquisition. Have no interest. And if you are interested in certificates to prove your learning, you are pathetic. I'm not even playing. Am I attacking those who give? No. It helps sometimes, you know. Okay, so you've gone through some training. You've learned some things. Like, I would like for someone, if, some, if you came here and went somewhere else, and they asked, so where did you learn how to do this and that? I think if for anyone that knows us as a ministry, that they can look at that thing and say, you went, this is a signature of Pastor Ita. You went through, okay. You must be, if he signed this, then you must have at least learned a lot. See, my concern is the person who learned, but it's them. I'm just saying that that paper doesn't qualify you. Let your fruit speak. They notice how you are. They notice when, they, they let the Holy Spirit lead the people around you, not the paper. Let the paper not lead them. Huh? Let the paper not lead them. Let the Spirit lead them. Let, some, let the light shine over you as you sit in the crowd. And I tell, also, I'd like to see that person. And then later I say, so how are you there? And you tell me your story. I say, ah, I like you. Will you share with us? Maybe your testimony or something. Let it be like that. Not that you showed me paper and I go like, oh, that means you can do it. Let it not be paper. But I'm giving an excuse for those who use paper. And in case I use a certificate tomorrow, the only reason would be, okay, we have other church members or we have thousands of people, hundreds of thousands following us. And for them to have some confidence, they want to see if, but I still doubt it. If you can't prove it by the authority you walk in, by the grace of God, by the fact that God answers your prayers when you pray. If you can't prove it by your life, you can't prove it by what demons say about you. We notice demons don't dislike you. They don't threaten you. Those are our qualifications. Threats. I will finish you. Ah. Your family. Ah. Ah, ah, ah. If they are not laughing, if they are not crying, if they are not weeping, if they are not begging, please, please. And for someone here, I think I got this for somebody. You're in a meeting and people scream, ah! And you said, it is not God now. How can God be disorderly like this? You won't read your Bible. You don't look at it and say, God wouldn't do this. Because that's exactly what happened with Jesus. So where again do you get your model from? Stop listening to the sad you see spirits or at work through certain preachers who sit down and analyze everything and say, no, would God do that? The spirit is organized. If Jesus was here, they would never follow him. They think they would. But they are amongst those who only love prophets dead. Jesus spoke to them while he was here. He said, your fathers killed the prophets. You built tombstones to them, for them. And said, if you were there, we wouldn't have done it. Then he said, fill up the cup. You, 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 you. The sin of your fathers. All the, their judgment will come on you. Because it's the same thing. You want, to, you want to manage the manifestation of the Spirit perfectly. There's no such thing. So when someone walks away from a meeting like Sunday's meeting, and I said, the Lord is cleaning up things in your life. There will be purification discharges. There will be this. There will be that. There will be all sorts of things. And someone leaves. And that, those things go and happen. And you say it in their mind. You can't handle an unbeliever at that level. And those kinds of unbelievers are usually Christians. 
mostly many are pastors they say no it's his mind over matter then you tell them use your mind now and handle one small matter they can why can't your own mind ever handle any matter respect me that i can use my mind to over override matter now god can do anything Thank you.